Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Today we are going to be talking about how a Muslim or a Mu'min will end reward when he is undergoing difficulties and also when he is undergoing enjoyment It is amazing how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has structured the life of a believer That means when he is undergoing difficulties he becomes rewarded and when he is undergoing enjoyment it becomes rewarded but this all depends on how the believer handles this situation the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said ajaban li amri al mu'mini inna amrahu kullahu lahu khair wa laysa li ahadin illa al mu'min fa in asabathu dhara'u sabara fa kana khairan lahu وَإِنْ أَصَابَتْهُ السَّرَّاءُ شَكَرَاءُ فَكَانَ خَيْرًا لَهُ The Prophet Sallallahu has said in this hadith that Amazing is the affairs of a believer that verily all his affairs are to him good And this is just for the believers When he has been afflicted he becomes patient and that is better for him And when he is undergoing enjoyment he becomes thankful and that is better for him This is how a believer is to approach his affairs seeking help through prayers and patience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and preventing himself from not saying or doing actions that he is not supposed to do. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa has made us to understand that anything that afflicts the believer from things he doesn't like uh, as a result of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiving him his sins through these things that has afflicted him. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said in a hadith, he said, ما يصيب المؤمن من نصب ولا وصب ولا هم ولا حزن ولا أذى ولا غم حتى الشوكة يشاكها إلا كفر الله بها من خطاياه. That nothing afflicts the believer from tiredness, from sickness, from grief, from sadness, from harm, from depression, down to the thorn that will prick him except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive his sins as a result of these things that has afflicted him. So the believer Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has structured his affairs to always be good for him depending on how he handles them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala count us among those that will become patient and seek help through patient and prayers with him when we are in times of difficulties so that we can be able to maximize the rewards that are therein for those who become patient when they are afflicted. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said and we shouldn't forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said he loves those that are patient and give glad tidings to those that are patient. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala count us among them until we meet again. Aqul qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa akhiru da'waya anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.